like this is going to be a bit of a weird video because I don't know where the hell Emma's gone. She's just vanished. Like, she was meant to be doing this with me. But, for some reason, she's just disappeared. Like normal. She just goes somewhere. You don't know where she's gone. And then it's just... You alright there? Oh, she's here. <laughs> Oops. You're going to stop prattling on and let's get some jobs done. Sick of your lazy attitude towards work. Look what I found. Been a very interesting week, hasn't it? Ugh. Hello week. Should we talk about the breakdown? Nah. No? Nah. We've got other things. That's another, yeah, we've got other jobs to do. Right, well, we've been doing some alterations. Right, so what we noticed since we've been using the van a little bit more is that we've got a heat duct coming into the bathroom. However, you don't need it on all the time. And what we've been finding is because if we've got it on, we've got the heating on full, if it's a bit nippy, then it's actually having an effect on the panelings on the walls and it's making it just come away a little bit on the sides so what we decided to do was make it so that we could have it coming into here if we wanted it coming into here or we could have it going somewhere else we've moved well we haven't moved we've actually added a second vent so we did have one vent there and we've got one vent there and now we have a third vent just in here so basically what that enables us to do is it gets more heat into the body of the van when we're, we're near night time and it keeps the heat out of the actual shower because you don't need to be warming up all the time like emma says the problem you've got with sicker and pvc is that once it gets warm it starts melting what does it do <laughs> melting you're a melt Shut up. <laughs> um, so, that's one of the jobs we've done. The second job. So, because of the breakdown. You mean the breakdown that we're not going to talk about? Yeah, that one. In this video? Yes. But we will talk about it. Yes. And we will explain. Uh, the explanation. Because it's a big story. Long story. Mm. And just to let you know, there's a stranger. He's, he's a bus Ooh. driver. <gasps> you can't use that word. Not nice. He's a bus driver. And Mark takes you on the peasant wagon around the city. <laughs> peasant wagon. Underpaid, underthought after, all and his way. wife does all the building work on his van. I know how that feels. We all know who does the work on the van. Right, so now the superstar's gone, we can carry on. What have we done, Em? We well, fitted... A brand shiny new... Spanking... Starter motor. There we go, one starter motor. Not in an awkward place at all. To be fair, it wasn't that bad. We just needed star drives. Lots. But they're not really star drives because they go over the star drive. So the nuts are star drives. The nuts aren't star drives. They are, you need Torx. Torx bits? They're not Torx bits, they're Torx sockets. Torx sockets. Torx sockets, so two Torx sockets. What else? A plug removal and a nut mm. and what's the most important thing about when you're doing that job the first thing you do take your battery off yeah take your battery off and then when emma's undoing the live wire and you tell her it's live she <laughs> herself under the van even though she's just watched you <laughs> undo the battery <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a bit of a weird week um now kind of looking at other things to do such as changing the engine oil I'm not changing the engine up. Fine, I'll do it. And if you heard this, Emma's going to change the engine up. And what's so funny about that? <laughs> That's what I think. How are you going to change? <laughs> You're going to change the engine up? Yeah, it's only one nut. Just get in behind there, unscrew that. Unscrew what? Well, this is going to be loads of fun. She doesn't even know what type of engine it is or nothing. Right, look, the only problem we're going to have is because it's a transverse engine, the air filter will be behind the back somewhere there. So I've just got to get down there to actually get at it to get it out. The air filter? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to take the air filter oh, out? Oh, no, I've done the air filter, sorry. You've the done the air filter? <laughs> the oil filter? <laughs> the oil filter. <laughs> the oil filter? Okay. Yeah, it's down there somewhere. Where? So, just... so down and back round here. How did you know that? 
Do not mess with me, my Google is strong. <laughs> so, <laughs> so suppose we've got to go and um, get some oil and an oil filter? Already got an oil filter. Oil's on the way. While you were snoozing, already organised it all. Right, okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do to actually get down towards the filter is make a bit of space. So by to do that, what you need to do is remove the air intake duct here. Loosen these little boys off. Right, so once you've got this out of the way, it'll give you a little bit more room so, so that you can get to where the filter is, which is situated right at the back of the engine. So then you're going to need a 32mm socket on a long bar with a knuckle because of the silly place where the actual thing's situated. So the best thing to do, get your socket on first and then go in with your secondary. Because of where it's positioned, it's going to be awkward to get it all in in one. Once you've loosened it, there's no easy way of doing it. You've just got to reach in, pull it out. And get it onto some cloth as quick as possible so that you're not dripping oil everywhere now we've got it out there's your oil filter the oil filter will come with three rubber seals there's one there one there and one there some filters that you buy will come with the with the rubber seals and some won't ours because our google is strong has come with new rubber seals so we're going to be replacing them as well so little top tip when you're changing your filter take the bag off the new filter pop it over and then pull it off tip that into the bag and then that all stays in there less mess all right so we've changed all the little rubber seals on the filter once you've done that the cylinder part just slides on and then clicks into place all right so before this goes back in we've got to get underneath the van and drop the engine oil so because our engine takes at least seven liters of oil we need a container that's big enough to take at least seven liters of oil so we found an old 10 liter container just chop the top off and then that should hold all the dirty oil that's coming out so i'm going to take a 19 mil socket to loosen the sump plug take that out and then drop the oil into this so once you've cracked your sump plug off you then just use your fingers to unscrew it but then you'll need to pop your container that you're catching the oil in you'll need to pop that underneath would you like a tissue em oh finally he speaks <laughs> Would you like a tissue? Yes, please. Once all your oil's drained from down there, you can put your sump plug back in. Give it a little clean off first. I don't know why, just so it looks pretty. And then once you put that back in, you just put it back in with your fingers. And at the end, give it a little light tighten with your socket because you don't want it going in too tight so that you can get it back out again. Have you not made a cup of tea yet? No. I always make you a cup of tea when you're doing jobs. Yeah, first time you've touched nuts in a while as well. Hiya. What are you doing? Getting a warm. You're meant to be doing an oil change. I'm waiting for it to finish coming out. There's your tea. Thanks. I'll go and do it myself. Uh-uh. Hands off. Ooh, that's me just being shouted at, isn't it? You know. Anyway, you'll go and do it. I've already done all the hard work. It's only just putting everything back in together. I've done all the hard stuff. She has. She, um, just to let you know, there was one thing that I helped her with, and that was a sump plug, because it was really stiff. Um, <laughs> and it was really stiff. But Emma has actually done all the work for the oil change. Now, a lot of you be like, hey, we're doing you an oil change. But... This one's aimed at the ladies, just to show that you can do it. And I'm sure if she was to persevere with the sun plug, she would have got it off. So, she wouldn't have needed me. He's just got bigger paws. 
Right, so while Emma's gone to get herself a little bit of a warm, I'm going to show you exactly where the air filter goes inside the crafter. You're going to need, you're going to need a T25 Torx bit, right? Basically undo those screws there. I do recommend undoing the Jubilee clip as well, because it just makes life easier, because you can pop this off the air filter, just like that, and then you can lift this up, and there is where your air filter is situated inside the crafter. We changed the air filter yesterday, so it doesn't need to be done. But just thought I would show you where it was while Little Legs was getting a warm because it's a bit cold. So that's where the air filter goes. We're going to retouch the air filter back up now and carry on with the oil change. So once your oil's all drained out and you feel confident that it's gone, you need to get your little sump plug back in. So under I go. Right, that's in there nice and tight. Just gonna wipe off any excess oil so I can see what I'm doing. Go nice and clean. And then I'm just gonna get a ratchet on and give it a light tighten. Right, so now that we've emptied the oil, put the sump plug back in. Now we put the new filter back in. The concentration face. <laughs> I'm stuck. What you need to then do is just go in with your 32mm socket, nip it up a little bit, not too much, so that it's over tight, and then Bob's your Uncle Fanny's ramp. Job's good. Then once all that's done and secure, you need to reattach this bad boy. So before you put your oil in, you need to check what oil you need with your manufacturers. So as you can see here, we've got the 5W30. And because our van needs seven liters, we had to get two four liters. So now it's time to put the fresh oil in. And this little cap here, this is where you're gonna open up and put your oil into. Right, and just before Emma puts the oil in, here's a bit of a tip if you haven't got a funnel. Get yourself a plastic container cut the top off cut a little thing into it take your cap off your oil and then you can plunk that in there like that and then you can pour the oil into that and it'll go straight down into the engine and you won't get oil all over the place so when you're onto your second bottle and you've got around about two and a half liters in then you want to check your dipstick and see where your oil's at and that'll tell you it. Halfway? Yeah. So we need to put around, around about another litre in to make sure that she's nice and full. So once you put your, your next litre in, then check your dipstick again. Just there. So we can top it up with a little bit more and then that's the oil complete. So once all the oil's topped up and you've finished, pop your cap back in. Then you need to get your engine turned over and check for any leaks. So now that the engine's on, you can get underneath and have a little look, check for leaks. No leaks. Oh, I'm impressed. Yeah? Hmm. She done well. This proves that women can do oil changes. Because there'd be loads of women out there thinking that they need to go to garages. And the only problem with going to garages is they overcharge it. Massively. That oil change has just cost us. Fifty pound. Fifty pound, yeah. Something like that. Now we did go on Amazon and we got the oil off Amazon. Reason we went on Amazon because it was twenty-one pounds. Euro car parts. Sixty-six ninety-nine. Pair four liters. So we got eight liters for forty-two pounds delivered the next day from Amazon. 
we got the filter from the local shop which was like six pounds so say 50 pounds a garage would have charged you 100 120 maybe 200 pounds you don't know but it's a job that women can do emma's just done it she didn't need no help from me we've had a starter motor we've redone the air uh... heat invents dead fellas yeah on little legs has just done an oil change in the freezing cold in the freezing cold <laughs> boom but good week yes well done you well i'm done proud you. of you